Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Orlando, Florida. And I am here at Free Play, Free Play Florida, a vintage gaming convention that I was fortunate enough to be invited to. Uh, this is my first time here. It's a yearly event. I don't think they had it in 2020 because of the things going on in the world. But uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy some vin vintage video games and some other fun stuff. So please follow me. Look at this, there's a super spooky ghost creeping up on the registration desk. Right, and here we are on the convention floor. A sign here greeting us to the Twin Palms Mall. All these people here enjoying the different pinball machines, all different types. Wait, what's this? Wait a minute, I've heard of this. So Polybius is a much fabled urban legend of a mysterious arcade game that would appear in arcades with little explanation. They said that it would cause nightmares, visions, suicide from the people that played it. And then mysterious men in black suits would come and collect data on the gameplay. I think it was maybe some sort of secret uh, Illuminati-like group. Maybe the government, maybe the CIA. Maybe it was part of Project Paperclip. Maybe it was MK Ultra. Who knows? But uh, still the legend of Polybius exists. No one knows, no one's been able to confirm or deny whether or not these machines actually existed. Check out some of these classic pinball machines here. Lost World, it's Flash Gordon, Mata Hari. There's some very old arcade games here. This is Frenzy. Never played Frenzy. Oh, let me see, I'm a... I'm a man. I think I'm a man. Um, there's oh, there's skeletons and octopuses. I gotta stay away from. Why? Oh, I, I have a gun. I have a gun. I didn't know I had the gun. This is New York, New York, save the city from an alien attack. All right. There's the Statue of Liberty. Oh, okay. And I'm I'm this little spaceship down here. I gotta. Oh, oh, they're raining down fire on me, so I gotta press the, the fire button there. Oh, where am I going? Where'd I go? Did I die? All right, all right, another shot. Can I hide under the Statue of Liberty? No, that's just in the background, okay. Okay, got a few of those no good aliens. Aliens always trying to destroy the Statue of Liberty. I'm gonna teach them a thing, send them back to the planet. Ah, oh, they got me. This is Battle Zone. It's a dark little screen. Oh, it's this bright green. Lights, okay. Actually move. How do I shoot? There's a shoot button right there. Can I shoot them? At these tables here, they have different uh, vintage, older uh, home consoles set up for people to play. Well, let's start here. We got Pitfall 2 from Atari. I don't think I've played Pitfall 2. I have played Pitfall 1. And this is, this Atari controller, this is classic. This thing is so hard to move, so unresponsive. You can get blisters in your fingers trying to move the stick, and then there's the one button. So, here we go, here we go. Gotta run. Just run, 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 run. Oh, there's a bird. I don't know if that bird is trying to kill me. So we'll just run, avoid the bird. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that bird flew into me, and now I am dead. Okay, I'm not dead. When I'm running, oh, I'm running back to the beginning. So that's how you die, okay. So we'll try that again, run, run, run. The monkey underground, okay. Don't want to touch that moth. Maybe it's moth man, okay. And maybe wait for the bird to go up and then, ah, All right, we're gonna have to jump over this. There we go, there we go. Oh, scorpion. Oh, I hate this scorpion, I remember hating the scorpion. Oh, you have to watch him run all the way back. That's no good, that's not fun. This is a Sega SG-1000. I've never 
heard of this, did not know this existed. I had a Sega Genesis. I don't know what this is. This is the paddles here. Okay, I can shoot. A lot of, a lot of vintage games are flying shooting games. The old fly and shoot, as they would call it. All right, this is the PlayStation 2. So we got this big orange gun, something called Vampire Knight. Okay, there's a zombie. I think maybe it was a vampire, I don't know. Press reload button, where's the reload button? Where's the reload button? Is that the, okay, that was the reload button. Got him, got him, oh, 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 oh. Press the reload button. How am I, oh, I'm gonna have to reload when fighting these, these vampires or zombies. Oh, I get murdered so quick. Here is Atari Jaguar. I've never played this. I used to hear about it all the time when I was a, a kid because supposedly the Atari Jaguar had 64 bits. Super Nintendo, Genesis, they only had 16 bits. So 64 was a way, way more than that. But anyways, let's uh, let's play this game. There's blood dripping. So this is Kas Kasumi Ninja. Okay, this is like a, uh, this is kind of like, like one of those Mortal Kombat ripoffs. Oh no. Alaric is is beating me senseless. I oh I paused it. I paused it somehow. Okay. There's blood everywhere. Oh, yeah, just, he just threw something at me. Oh, he pounded me. This is something called a like Vectrex. See, it's a different different type of graphics. The controller we're dealing with here. Um, okay, I'm a tank. This is another tank game. Um, you press a button to go forward. That button to shoot. Oh, turn around. Shoot, 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 shoot. This other tank seems better at shooting than me. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. Don't just spin. Shoot. Ah. Oh. Here's an interesting pinball machine. It's called Hard Body. And it has a muscular lady in a bikini on the on the glass there. Oh yeah, so it's like a bodybuilding themed pinball. This is my favorite thing here, the fun chicken. I remember these at the grocery store. I begged my mother or grandmother for a quarter to put in the machine and watch it circle around and then it would drop an egg off the bottom. Everything here is supposed to be free play, but I don't think this is free play. I think uh, it would be non-economical to let everyone uh, have eggs. I've never seen this before. This is interesting. This is a story castle for all ages. as fun fables. Each story has a moral. Different stories, one on each telephone. There's two phones, and I guess you'd put a coin in the frog's mouth. Oh, I guess, no, you put a coin in the smiley mouth. The frog's mouth is the return. And then you'd pick this up and you'd listen to a story that has a fable, or has, or has a moral to it. A fable, possibly, with a moral. It's good stuff. It's this jungle snap. Looks like it would turn these animals. You try to recreate these unusual matchups. Or I guess not unusual matchups. You just try to get the animal right. Recre recreate the character and you get a certain number of points. So here's a Kitty, Kitty Rama cartoon theater. Okay, so it's three different famous cartoons, 25 cents a movie. So you just put a coin in, you take a seat, and you watch a cartoon. This is what you had to do when you didn't have a cell phone. You have nothing to promote? I have nothing to promote. So you are Space Ghost, right? I am Space Ghost, uh, Citizen Jacob, and uh, it's a pleasure to be on the big show here. Uh, I've got nothing to promote. I'm doing nothing. You're doing nothing? There's absolutely nothing. Go to lowcountry.com and buy crap. Okay. Yes, I tell everybody <laughs> that. Go to help an old man eat. <laughs> now, I was impressed because you have the Howard Finster Paradise Garden yeah, man. shirt on. Oh, I, I was an early devotee of, uh, of Howard, and uh, it just turned me loose on a folk art adventure you wouldn't believe. The sickness has spread to 700 pieces. 
in my home collection. So you own 700 I own it. Pieces of folk art? At least, at least 80 or 90 Howard Fensters. Oh, wow. Uh, some of them are pretty epic. And, hey, look, they've got beer. Get back here. They got kids. beer? I have to inspect that. Yes, you can. Check them out, Jacob. Okay. Let's space go okay. see your beer. There's a small tariff involved here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, here we go. No, no, no. I don't drink. I don't drink. Okay. Daddy doesn't drink. You don't drink? But later, I'll be into like the ether. <laughs> the ether? Tonight's matchup, Jacob takes on Mr. Boom Shakalaka. What do you got, Jacob? What do I got? I, I don't know how to answer that. Jacob's <laughs> wide open. I left him wide oh. open. So yeah, you were the voice of, N of NBA Jam. That's right. So I I I I don't care for basketball, no. but I still played this game. It was it was fun, and, and and part of it was your your voice. That's one of the cool things about this game. A lot of people tell me they were not basketball fan or sports fan, but this became a very fun game for them, especially a lot of women that were forced to play with their brothers and just fall in love. <laughs> They end up falling in love with your voice? Yeah, of course. No, they, uh, I get a lot of stories from women who come up to me and share with me. One of my favorite games to go, seriously, you play? They go, my brother would beat me up if I didn't play it, but then I fell in love with it. So, uh, Hello, I am here. Yeah, I agree. I'm excited. I'm sorry. No, no, it's this quite is, all right. This is Daniel Pacino. This is John Cage. Master Daniel Pacino. I'm sorry, Master Daniel Pacino. He's Johnny Cage. Um, I don't know. I don't, I like, like, remember that time that you punched that guy's head off? Like, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also did uh, Scorpion, Sub Zero, Reptile, Smoke. So all the good ones, all the good characters. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, can I, can I just point out, Jacob has been saying for the, uh, you know, I, I told Jacob about uh, coming out here about two months ago, and, and, and Jacob has been very excited to, to meet you, hoping that at some point, you, you might, you might punch him in the nuts. In the nuts. You got it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, he got cage. Wait a minute. Let me warm it up. There we go. Warm it up. Yeah. That way it's not too cold. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've played, played the games so much as a kid. It's such a big part of my childhood. So it's crazy. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing what you did. Oh, thank you. It was really fun. Uh, oh, yeah, you, yeah. Uh, got to hang out with my friends, create a video game. It was really cool. It was back, you know. Uh, you know, people forget there was no Photoshop or the, there was no technology. Yeah. So they're just taking pictures. They were a videotape. We wanted we, uh, the first round. We wanted it to be like a kung fu movie. Yeah. So we were trying to make it like really live. You know, very, very live. You know, more like what you would see as far as like uh, Dirk, what was that? Uh, uh, Dragon Slayer. We wanted to really okay, have yeah, something yeah. To, to, but that live. So that was, but the technology did not support that. When you, oh, oh, Rich, how are you doing? It's Jacob. Are you vaccinated? Yes. Okay. Show you my That's how we begin this conversation. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. In this day. Welcome to Florida. Yeah, I know. So you are <laughs> Kano, right? I sure am. And you got a Kano. You got a clean hands whenever you're ripping someone's heart That's right. from their chest. Can you, rip, can you rip my heart out? Uh, Alright, so. Oh, you want to we're not so close in each other's face. Oh, it's okay. Go ahead. So, <laughs> starstruck again. So, like, yeah, remember, remember when you you, you, you were captured back to Outworld, and then you, you came and, and joined Outworld and was a Earth weapon specialist to help uh, help Shao Kahn take over the Earth. Do I remember when I when I was a part of that? Yeah, 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 I remember. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for your time. Roll the credits. <laughs> thank you so much. I man. love it. It's great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Can we do a fist bump? The fist bump of friendship. Thank you for your contributions to my childhood. Do you know, by the way, that this gentleman was in one of your favorite movies from your childhood? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's Secret the one. Who are, who are you in? Daniel and I were both football players. I was going to say, I should have brought this up before. Master Piscina also in TMNT 2. 
Hey, it's the Sporn Ryan. I'm the voice that you keep hearing <laughs> heckling Jacob from the back. Yeah, back to you. As, yeah. as I sit here and, and blather and, and make a fool of myself in front of my childhood heroes. So. Oh. <laughs> and that's not that's not all. I, and I wrote the press release. By the way, we haven't face to face, but you and I talked on email. Okay. Uh, uh, elbow friendship. I'm Ryan. All right. um, I wrote the press release, so I'm cheating here. Okay. Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Oh. I forgot, The Dark Knight. Yeah, I, I played a Chechen gangster. So. Sharing screen with the legendary Eric Roberts. This is true. And Gary Oldman. And Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. That's right. And just behind the camera was Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Billy Mitchell from the, uh, from the uh, King of Kong, Fistful of Quarters. It's great to meet you in person. I appreciate it. You're one, sir. Of the, one of the greatest video game players in the world, correct? Well, one of them. One of them. But the other ones aren't here. The other ones aren't here. So you, you realize if you don't show up for the competition, yeah, you lose automatically. Automatically. No, there's a lot of good guys, and I enjoy going around um, the country, and I see different ones in different places on a fairly regular basis. It's great to reminisce about the old days. All right. Absolutely. So do you have any favorite arcades across the country? Any, any individual arcades that you would recommend stopping at or checking out? Well, I just came from... Oh, where's this? Fun Spot. Fun Spot? Bob where's Lawton that? In New Hampshire. Fun Spot in New Hampshire. Guinness says the world's largest arcade. Really? Uh, I'll have to check that out. Absolute awesome guy. Founder. Legacy. 90 years old. He never stopped laughing, never stopped having fun. They say it adds years to your life, and if that's true, that's why he was 90 years old when he passed. Then he added a lot of years and a lot of life to a lot of people. Um, it's hard not to mention fun spot. It's hard not to mention Galloping Ghost. I've been to the Galloping Ghost. Right. That's one of my favorites that I've, that I've personally seen. It's hard not to mention places like that, and they're not the only ones. Yep. But places that. They do what they do and they make money, but they do it with a passion and they try to cater to the individual players. Yeah. Sector Mortal Kombat. I don't know if he's going over there to, to take out Johnny Cage. Oh. Now we have a pitfall, a pitfall photo op here. Guess I can uh, set this up and uh, and do a little pitfall. Discussing, voicing some of your favorite pinball machines. It's all free. Now I know you're asking, how can we afford to make such big entertainment free? We can't. Alright. Some really old school machines here. This one's called Gunfight. Let's see, you gotta put the cowboy position and the gun position. Ready, we gotta get our cowboy in position. We gotta get our gun. Oh, see, uh, you raise and lower the gun. Shoot! Oh. There was a cactus in the way. I gotta, I gotta make my cowboy go up a little bit. Oh, got him right in the head. <laughs> All right, here's a good old game of paddle ball. Uh, I guess it's not Pong, it's it's a similar game. Let's see if we can make the, yeah, so you make the thing. Oh, oh, oh. Where's the ball? Oh, there's the ball, oh. This is harder than it may seem, like it is. Oh, that's weird. When you go up, your paddle gets longer. When you go down, it gets smaller. It's a sign from Aladdin's castle. It was, of course, a uh, popular chain of arcades. I think back in the 90s, there's a, I guess this is a customized uh, Street Fighter II Championship Edition. So I have a confession to make. I, I you know what? All these years, I, I assumed that I knew how to play pinball. But I'm starting to think that I don't. See, I, I understand that you the ball, you don't want it to go down there. And you use these flippers to try to smack the ball, keep it out of there. Anything going on up here, I don't understand. No idea on any pinball machine what this stuff does. I just know keep it out of the hole. Just keep it out of the hole. Probably hitting things and when they make noise, that's probably good. But other than that, just keep it out of the hole. Did not know this was something that existed in the world. A water world pinball machine. Check that out. Has anyone out there ever heard of a game called Gun Survivor 2 Biohazard Code Veronica? Looks like this is the computer.
section. All these old school uh, computers here. This is the Atari 400. This is the Atari 800XL. Looks like we can play a little bit of Pac-Man here with this classic controller. See, the thing about Pac-Man is you gotta not let the ghosts kill you. You gotta eat the thing that lets you eat the ghosts because they can't kill you if you've eaten them. So always be eating ghosts. That's my uh, recommendation for Pac-Man. Oh, we gotta eat him before he turns back into a not normal, okay. Here's a bunch of ghosts coming. Maybe get these dots down here. Oh, okay. I'm not let these ghosts box me in. Up, 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 up. The ghosts are after me. Okay, I got away. You forgot about me. And we're gonna go up here. And we're gonna eat this. And the ghosts won't dare mess with me now. Always be eating ghosts. That's that's the key. All right. Get these dots here. And I'm probably that's probably the best game of Pac-Man I've ever played um, because I've managed to survive so long. All right, you get these. Oh my gosh! Is it possible? I won for the first time ever on this channel. I think I beat a game. And look at this. The Oregon Trail, the only video game we were allowed to play in school. All right, got my family loaded up, and uh, we're gonna head out onto that old Oregon Trail. You know what? Let's just let's just go for it. Let's attempt to ford the river. We'll walk right across it. There we go. Oh, river's too deep. I lose three wagon wheels. Three wagon tongues. That's all my wheels and all my tongues. 388 pounds of food. Two ox oxen. Oh, and my swamp man drowned to death. Well, at least that'll save us on food. You pass a grave site. Would you like to look closer? Uh oh, we're gonna have to fight some zombies here. Here, lo <laughs> I guess another player um, left here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, pay my respects. Continue your journey to Oregon. Please flip the diskette to size two. I don't know where the diskette is. I guess, I guess our journey's over. Check this out. The Moldomatic company is here with some Moldomatic machines. The Disneyland the toy factory with the castle. They're making Peter Pans today. You can see they have little figures in there. We got the space rocket loaded up to go. And then look at this. Look at this. They have a custom mold made for this event for Free Play Florida, the Triple Fs with the uh, pinball uh, uh, flipper and ball right on there. Some of the glass backs here. Make your own man's Chinese theater. So I actually have this one at home. Last time I was at, when I went and visited the, the warehouse, I actually bought this from him, the man's Chinese theater one. This used to be next to man's Chinese theater out in Hollywood. This is the Carolina Snowball. This was a, uh, a dolphin, uh, uh, an individual dolphin that uh, was at an aquarium that they made molds of. Look at some of the molds they have here on the table. These are a lot I don't have here. We have a, a shoe. I've never seen the shoe. This is a Enco watchdog service, a little dog. What is this? I'm not even entirely sure what, what that is. And that's the Hollywood Bowl right there. What is that? Skytown Marine Land. And I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that is. There's a Buddha, a Buddha, that's pretty interesting. What ship is this? Ocean City, New Jersey. Oh, I love Ocean City, New Jersey. But, what's that? Century 
2021 exposition. It looks like a monorail. And uh, I love the Ferris wheel. This is, uh, okay, I have this one. This is the, uh, this is Jack White's van that he has at this record shop. And um, what is this? The Clock of Nations. It's an interesting. It's a bad robot. I think they were the ones that made the TV show Lost. And I somehow missed these when I went to, to Halloween Horror Nights. This bear, and then this is the actual uh, the, the actual Legacy Store mold. I think the thing is I didn't go to the Legacy Store in City Walk that I had these two molds. I missed out on those. And got to see and see. Ben Franklin hiding back there. Right. And oh, look at this little boom box. I'm not sure what this is. It's interesting. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen one of these where they say Paul Bunyan Moldomatic. That's amazing. This one here, I've been to this attraction, the, the, land, uh, the World of Miniature Horses. That's an attraction near Gettysburg. Pennsylvania where they have miniature uh, just, a, just a farm full of miniature horses custom free play Florida there we go beautiful there is the newest Moldomatic around oh that's that's spicy I turn it upside down. I remember this game here. Narc. Narc. Say no to drugs. This game, you're a, you're a cop and you're just shooting drug addicts to death on the street. <laughs> when you shoot them, Little bags of cocaine fall out that you can collect. This is ludicrous. You see the bag of drugs right there? <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. You blow up a <laughs> drug addict. Boom. We can see all their arms and limbs flying around. This game was very violent when it came out. These guys actually throw syringes at you. That's how drug dealers fight. They just throw their drugs at you. See, there's vendors here selling old uh, home consoles, old games. Just, it, it, it's bringing back a t uh, memories of when, when media like this, where it was physical, where it was difficult to come by, where you couldn't just pay a few dollars to download it. You actually had to go to the store, buy the physical copy, and these were expensive. These were expensive. I could maybe get one for Christmas, and that was what was about it. Here at the uh, Glamour Shack, we're getting some some uh, meet and greet with some cosplayers here. We we huddle in here. All right. We see everyone. Oh, I think I'm blocking. Oh. Someone. All right. All right. All right. Am I blocking anyone with my head? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Awesome. We got some awesome old uh, video camera there. Oh, look at this. The uh, some some recorded. Remember remember the day when people used to record movies off TV because you couldn't just watch any movie you wanted. You had to hunt them down, save them in poor quality on these tapes. Uh, Groundhog Day is a good movie. Uh, I remember Arachnophobia too. What's the news? The news is that there are a lot of games here. Are there that many players though? Are there that many players? Yeah. There's a lot of players. Yeah, you think, I mean, it looks pretty full. Absolutely. Pretty cool. um, you know, spaciously full, right? Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to draw your attention here to the main stage. Listen up. It gotta feel good. It has to come from the core. Remember, you gotta keep the core tight. You gotta keep the core tight, okay? All right. This here is Warren Davis. He actually invented Qbert. 
and he is also a magician. The Queen of Diamonds. One card. And one card of them. <laughs> so thank you for joining me here at Free Play Florida. It's a convention, annual convention where they celebrate video games, pinball machines have tons of video games and pinball machines out there on free play to be played and then plenty of fun nonsense to be had here as well. Uh, if you like these videos, consider subscribing to let you know when new videos are coming out. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon, $3 or more. We'll get you a postcard once a month, also selling pins in the Etsy shop. All that helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag. Oh, look, how long has my hat been on backwards? <laughs>